you don't think, oh, I can't, I didn't do this, and I don't know what I'm doing, I, I wouldn't know what to do with the camera. It doesn't matter, we've got eyes. What do you think is the best way to develop your craft? Just working, just make stuff yourself, you know, writing stuff, whether, you know, you can make films with your phone now, storyboarding, just get it out, just do it. You know, it's hard for money if you, you know, internship, you don't paid anything, but if you can get on a set and watch things, YouTube, watch, you know, docu uh, when, when on, a, on a DVD, there's always the making of, how do they do that? Read books, you know, if you can't afford to go to film school, just do as much research as you can. Yes, you can so much. You can, but then you've still got to make that leap. Maybe make, you know, writing. Get, get with the writing, taking photographs so that you're combining the two. And, and also don't think you can't do it. Everybody starts somewhere. I mean it. You don't think, oh, I can't, I didn't do this and I don't know what I'm doing. I'd, I wouldn't know what to do with the camera. It doesn't matter. We've got eyes. You know, and, and if you think, well, this is what I see, this is how I see it, describe that. The language of film is, is beautiful and complicated, but it doesn't have to be. You know, that's for young people to know. So, um, why do you think it's so important for filmmakers to take a leap with their work? Similar question. I think people should tell the stories they want to tell. It's not just about taking a risk for the sake of it. We have to put our stories out there, whatever they may be. You know, sharing our journeys. That's what storytelling is, whether it's film or music or literature. That, that's how I feel.